looking at is a plaque of honors that have been awarded to the RCRs. RCRs. I need a little bit of help with the uh, Canadian Forces lingo. So luckily, I'm joined by uh, Master Corporal Laforet. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you for having me. Gosh, it's my pleasure. I've never been here to the Mil Military Museum, and we have a lot to get through. Yes. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's begin the tour. OK. First and foremost, why was Petawawa chosen uh, for to, to, to form the uh, the base. Well, it's important to realize that the government had already owned land here in the 19th century. Mm -hmm. So they were basically looking for a summer training area mm -hmm. uh, that offered very little amusement after working hours. <laughs> so Petawawa and Barry's Bay were actually chosen uh, as two of the uh, possible outcomes of the base. Mm -hmm. So uh, Petawawa was eventually chosen because of the, the lack of amusement after working hours. Keep the boys on track. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So in 1905, the base was formed. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that point in time, it, was, it, was, it wasn't a very big spot, but it was mainly used as a summer training camp for the uh, RCHA or the artillery. Mm -hmm. Now, why was the Military Museum created? The Military Museum was created to honor those that have gone before us as well as to paint a good picture of the past of us here in the Canadian military mm -hmm. so that the public as well as those who still serve can come and enjoy everything that, the, that, that we have to offer here mm -hmm. uh, as well to give them a better understanding of uh, how things were in the past. And what section are we in right now? Right now we are in the 2RCHA section. The, Which means? The Royal Canadian Horse Artillery. Okay, okay. So uh, how old is some of, some of the pieces that are in here? Well, the big gun here, this is the 12 pounder. It was in service from 1897 is when it came into service. It replaced the six pounder gun that was in service from 1970. Okay, wow. <laughs> You've got a, a large, how, how many years has this been collected over? Uh, we're probably looking over 50 years. Yeah. And next we're heading into the airborne section. Yes, the airborne section is the next stop. Okay, and what are we going to find in here? Uh, in the airborne section, you're going to see uh, the formation of the 1st Canadian Parachute Battalion, or they're better known as One Can Para. Uh, and they're beginning in 1942 with their training in Fort Benning, Georgia. Uh, they then moved into uh, Britain, and in 1944, that's is when they were actually deemed to be a frontline parachute combat unit. And then it also goes in to talk about the first special service force mm -hmm. or the Devil's Brigade. And then from there, it goes in to talk about uh, the actual Airborne Regiment and it's uh, when it was stood up in uh, 1963. Mm -hmm. So. So now being Remembrance Day, will the uh, museum do anything special? The museum is basically where we're picking up tour-wise. We're giving a lot more tours for the Remembrance Day season. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a large growing interest, even in the children, uh, for the museum. So uh, that, that's basically what we're doing is just, you know, we welcome the people in and give them the tours as they need them. Right, so I can actually get you to walk me through here and explain all of the information. Sure. Yeah, very knowledgeable. I highly recommend Master Corporal Laforette. Okay, so before we go, tell me a little bit about the chapel. Okay, this is the Hall of Remembrance. It is considered a chapel. It has actually been blessed. It houses the Airborne Regiment, the first uh, Special Service Force, uh, and uh, one Can Para, as well as one, two, three commandos of the Airborne Regiment. Mm -hmm. uh, when the regiment was disbanded, in 1995, January 1995, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't until March that the final march of the Airborne came to be and they literally marched around Petawawa, mm -hmm. marched right into this building and placed their colors up behind display which is where they will remain for the rest of their days. Okay. Well coming up a little bit later in the show we will head outside and give you a tour of the different machinery that's outside. Yes. So uh, stick around, there's still lots more coming up on CTV Morning Live. Thank you. Um,